The Nebraska Attorney General claims the pot party going on in Colorado is stretching Nebraska police officers and courts thin. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Emily Zink. So Nebraska is suing Colorado. Reporter Josh Egbert is live to explain. Josh. Well, Emily, Attorney General John Bruning said today that five out of every 10 traffic stops just north of the Colorado border now leads to an arrest for marijuana. That's why Nebraska has joined forces with Oklahoma in filing a lawsuit challenging Colorado's legalized marijuana as a possible violation of the U.S. Constitution. Call it a border war over Colorado's legalization of marijuana. This contraband has been heavily trafficked into our state. Uh, while Colorado uh, reaps millions from the production and sale of pot, Nebraska taxpayers have to bear the cost. Nebraska Attorney General John Bruning said Thursday afternoon that Colorado's legal pot is unconstitutional. Congress has not changed the Controlled Substances Act to make marijuana legal. In the lawsuit, Bruning says every aspect of Nebraska's criminal justice system has experienced increased expenses to deal with Colorado's legal pot. The dual county sheriff Adam Hayward said the county is getting so many felony drug cases involving Colorado marijuana that it's draining the county's resources to jail those arrested and pay defense attorneys. Colorado Attorney General John Souther says they are not surprised by the action because neighboring states have expressed concern over Colorado grown marijuana coming into other states. In a statement, he says, quote, however, it appears the plaintiff's primary grievance stems from non-enforcement of federal laws regarding marijuana, as opposed to choices made by the voters of Colorado. We believe this suit is without merit and we will vigorously defend against it in the U.S. Supreme Court. Attorney General John Bruning says the lawsuit isn't about money. It's about following federal law. So what's going on in Colorado right now violates federal law. Why is it that federal agents are not there trying to enforce the law? Now, Bruning says in this suit that the state is asking for an in injunction in Colorado and for its law to be stricken. He says that he hopes the U.S. Supreme Court will hear the case, but that could be difficult because they only take a small fraction of cases brought before it. We're live in the News Center. Josh Egbert, KMTV Action 3 News.